Yeah, I'm in the game tryna level up. Yeah, I'm in the game tryna level up. Yeah, I'm in the game tryna level up. These other haters, man, they tryna settle up. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to tonight's episode of Ninja Talk. My name is Carl. I will be your host, and I have my co-host with me, Eric. What's going on? And Mike. What's good, y'all? All right. We're going to just get a, just get up into it. So tonight's topic, we're going to be focusing on coolest anime, manga, slash comics superpowers. Uh, do you guys want to start off with... Uh, your top five, at least five, five. coolest powers. Go ahead, Mike. I know you want to start. I don't have five, <laughs> um, but I'll, I'll start with my favorite. Um, right. So as I as I was thinking of this, this is kind of hard. I was like, "Damn, top." You've seen like so power. many ones. It's like, damn, I was I need- like, damn. I don't even watch like shonen animes like that. Like, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I mean, I, you know, I watch the main ones, but. I think my favorite power slash concept in general, just in general, has to be alchemy from Fuego. Just um, an exchange. Yeah, exactly, bro. Like, <laughs> like, you know, the fake science behind it that makes it make sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I can rock with that because it makes sense in theory. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. It isn't like, you know, these other powers that are just random energy. Where where these powers come from, you know? <laughs> yeah. uh, um, yeah, ass poles basically is what you Yeah, man, yeah, ass poles. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, alchemy is like I could believe we can get those powers in real life almost. <laughs> Yep. Hey, ain't funny, bro. That's great. That's great. Hey. That's great. Bro, I... uh, but um and, and then the way they construct the show, it's like none of the characters are like OP. Mm. It's like uh, I mean uh, without a philosopher stone, none of them are really OP, you know what I'm saying? Like well, I mean, I would argue that the at least uh the Elric brothers kind of hard because they don't really need to follow like the Pacific rules. Yeah, they don't need a circle, but yeah. You know, there's other people have what tattooed a circle on their hand. Yeah, Mustang got mm. a glove with the circle on it, so it's like there's ways around it. Oh wow, that's true. You know, that's true. I never knew the um, like the basics of Full Metal Alchemist, but now that you break it down, that's 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 kind of cool. Yeah, you never seen Full Metal? I I've watched like one or two fights or like one or two episodes, <laughs> but like I never really got into the show like that, like that. Cause like I tried to watch it when back when it was on like Toonami. Yeah. And I was just like, dang, yo, this is mad boring. Yeah. That, no, nah, I was the same way. I was too young for it at the time. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I was like, what what is going on? What is what? you couldn't appreciate what is you appreciate the goodness ah, that was art. being shown to you. But, <laughs> but yeah, so my favorite power concept in general, alchemy. Word. Okay, okay. That's fair. That's fair. What about you, Eric? Um, let's see. I don't know, because I, I mean I watched quite a few like shonens. Um I don't know. I've, I, don't, I think I'd have to say like some one of my favorites might be um the uh the whole Nen concept and uh Hunter Hunter. Word. It's pretty interesting. Um, another one, which you know has been really big lately, Jujutsu Kaisen, the whole curse power thing is pretty interesting. Mm. Um, maybe I would probably, and maybe another one is uh, Quirks Word. from like uh, My Hero, and then possibly um, another one from the you know, Black Clover, phenomenal no, anime. <laughs> Just like the whole concept of magic and stuff, Word. with like the grimoires and you know being able to cast spells and stuff. So. Now I have a question for you. Um, yeah, how would you differentiate like chakra, nin? Um, what else? What other animals can I think of? Yeah, like how would you differentiate all of those different? Like you know what I'm saying? Because like they have their own version. Because like the reason why 
the reason behind my question was because there was that debate about if Goku and Naruto can fight. And then somebody said that chakra and key are two different things. So it's like, you know, they can't even be like compared, like right. when it comes mm-hmm. to a topic like that. So like, how would you, how would you differentiate it from your like understanding? Of um, I mean, honestly, I haven't really given it too much thought really. I mean, I mean, I, I, unlike other people, I don't get, I don't get too deep into that. Like, oh, it's totally, I mean, yeah, it's the same thing. Really, basically. <laughs> I was kind of thinking the same thing. I was He's like, like, yo, you need to stop. It's, it's basically the same thing, just with different names. Like, <laughs> that's, that's how they, you know, conjure their powers or their techniques and all that. I mean, to my, my, like, I'm just like, all right. So they just, you know, give it a different name, key, chakra. Mm-hmm. It's all the same, same gist, honestly. Right. Yeah. So, like, the whole conversation, oh, they're two different things. Yeah, if that's what you want to believe, by all means, do you. Right. Me, personally, I don't care. <laughs> right, right, like, right. I'm, I'm not trying to get too deep into all that. It's like, you know. I feel you. I love when they do um versus battles and they're like, oh, this character's ability wouldn't work on that character because that character needs chakra for it to work. I'm right. Like, bro. <sighs> <laughs> I'm like, bro. Like, like I heard somebody say, yo, um, if Goku and Itachi fought, Goku's yep. losing because Itachi's catching them in, in Genjutsu. And somebody's like, nah, 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 because you need uh you need chakra to have to exactly. use genjutsu. Exactly. I'm like, bro. <laughs> it's like, and it's funny because they, they they get when those those arguments get like really heated. Like, yeah. bro, no, you're joking, right? I'm like, bro, like you need to calm down. Like, bro, like, like we're talking about fictional characters, bro. Chill. I mean, I love them. I'm along, you know, right there along with you, but I'm not getting that serious into it. Like, no, Goku's taking out, taking out everybody because, you know, he can conjure a spur bomb and no one can block it because they don't have, you know, energy. I'm like, all right, he needs to stop. Just stop. <laughs> I'm hurt. I'm hurt. <laughs> yo, I, yo, as 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 ridiculous as it sounds, I've lost a couple friends off conversations like those. I was like, damn, I didn't know it was that deep. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, it's kind of like one of those monopoly things, like, like you gonna lose some friends over it. True, you true, know, true. Monopoly, I play to win. No, you know, nothing, <laughs> nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. But, play that, um, play that Uno draw four. <laughs> <laughs> Not true, not true, not true. So you know, but um, yeah. And then when it, and like all the power, I I feel like it's me personally. I just think it's all the same. This is just given a different name. Um, all in all, it's like like why does it you know it basically matters who we can like what power scale them. Like it, it's all the same. Just, right, right. You know, different series. Different name. I respect Nothing that. That's serious. fair. That's fair. That's a that's a decent response. What about um, you, Carl? All right. So my coolest um, anime, manga, comics powers. So my top. So I, I, I'm I'm gonna name my top five, and then I'm gonna name my honorable mentions. Okay. Okay. Uh, so my my first one was uh, the same powers Rogue has from Maximum. Mm-hmm. I, I was always intrigued with her powers as a kid. As a kid, like, you remember the old X-Men? The, like, the the one where Wolverine's old old uh, X-Men suit. Yep. You know which yeah. one I'm talking about? All right, yeah. Yeah. So that one didn't really give too good of a demonstration of Rogue's powers. But there was an X-Men after that one. They, uh, it gave, like, a different adaptation of Rogue's powers. Probably uh, X Men Evolution. I think that's what it was, and um, the way they kind of broke down her powers, how she was able to like take people's powers, and um, she would have it like she would she would have it for like a a temporary amount of time. Mm-hmm. And um, there was another adaptation I looked at, which said that once she takes her powers, she can have it like she, it's hers. Like that's in her like uh, her arsenal of superpowers. She can like mm-hmm. swap in and out of it. So I, I always thought that was like kind of cool because it kind of makes you an OP character, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Like you can have whatever power you want to. 
that's that was my first one. My second one is super speed. I've always been um ever since I was young, you know, been intrigued um in the flash from uh Justice League Unlimited. That was one of my favorite characters. I like the whole, you know, growing up with you know being being fat as a kid. I like the concept of having a super fast metabolism. So I was like, all right, your boy could keep being fat, but still look skinny. <laughs> Um, uh, walking through walls, phasing through objects, running on water. I always thought that stuff was cool, you know? Just pull up on somebody, but like, yo, look, I'm Jesus. I need to run on water. <laughs> nah, but um, I was I was I was always intrigued with the flash on uh, tapping into the speed force. All that all that stuff was really cool to me. The next one was shape shifting. I've always wanted to, I was always intrigued in shape shifting because like you could just you could be somebody today and then turn into somebody else the next day. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I always thought that stuff was kind of cool. Cause like as a kid, you like playing pranks on people, you know, you just put that quick prank on somebody. Um number four, I was I said telekinesis. Now this came from whatchamacallit? Um from too much Mortal Kombat. Ermac and uh, what was what was the other guy, Kenshi. I was like, I always thought that stuff was cool, man. Just lifting up people, lifting up things. I thought that stuff was cool. Um, and then the last one is telepathy. I was always intrigued with the uh, what's his name, Professor X. Hmm. Like that, the adaptation of um, of his powers that I really liked was. Um, it was X Men Origins when um, they showed how the team initially gets together, and um, they um, demonstrate his powers. Like he trains everybody on the team. He's getting into people's heads, and I'm like, "Yo, hold up! I don't remember you being this strong. <laughs> like, chill out, my boy." <laughs> but I, I was, I always thought that was, that was cool. Um, and then some of my honorable mentions was. Uh, Flight, um, super strength slash invincibility, invisibility, pyrokinesis, and teleportation. Those are my honorable mentions. I was like mostly X Men out there. <laughs> basically, so, so basically you're I key, I key. You, so you would say like you're one of your like you know one of your most favorite like uh, power type things is like having you know, having mutant powers basically. yeah yeah okay. yeah um but like some of it is also stemmed into like anime and, and like manga and too because like um yeah pyrokinesis the reason like that one i struggled with that one because like yo should i put it in the main so that because like that that one came from uh avatar man like because hmm. it's like i mean i don't even know if we even consider it um avatar uh, anime or manga i mean it's con it's it's accepted into the community but um yeah so i mean we already just say we should say it is right they're the white people we invite to the to the cookout, <laughs> <laughs> that was that. i like that reference uh, <laughs> but yeah man i was always i was really i was always into like the fire nation like it was it was the Fire Nation and the Earth Kingdom, which was always cool to me. But once I saw these dudes lightning bending, I was like, all right, that's it. I already picked my side. No, I was gonna say it's funny that you say that because I mean I've always had like a thing for like lightning based powers. Mm -hmm. So like Killua from Hunter to Hunter. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, the lightning bending, you know, Thor. Yeah. So I've always like like the uh, like Raiden. I was like lightning ish type powers have always been my favorite. So like I mean I was definitely messing with the Fire Nation heavy when we saw you know the lightning bend lightning bending. I was like, okay then I see you. Word. I was thinking about Avatar too when I was um just in general uh -huh. like bending elements. Um but um I lean water bending. Um where First of all, blood bending is yes. <laughs> oh, oh, <please. laughs> like yo, I'm, that's, I'm that's a, true. 
I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel like when Firebending came out with the lightning stuff, Water mm. was like, "Hold up, y'all coming? Y'all coming with the grease?" Facts. I bet blood bending. Now what? And then like, now shit, we cooking freaking with the whole Legend of Korra. They're like, "I right, damn, I right, we we not really seeing these guys." I bet Airbending, y'all can fly. And then uh, Earth bending, y'all bending metal and y'all bending lava. I was just like, all right, y'all just y'all just trying to one up each other now at this point. Yeah, I actually like the show that I like how the show did that. It was like I like how the the progression of all that too. It was like the original Avatar, only two characters blood bended, only a couple characters lightning bended, and only Toph was metal bending. And right, then yeah. Legend of Korra, like evolution took its course, and everybody was lightning bending. Everybody right. was metal bending. I kind of like how that happened. Yeah. Yeah, no, that was that was, that was actually really dope. I, I like so that. Lava, lava bending was a little was new. I was like, oh shit. Yeah. It's like, okay, then I see mm-hmm. what you're doing. I I wish that um they honestly, I, I wish they would come out with a third avatar thing, like um just to show us like a little bit more of like Ang- the bendings, Ang- like the or, bending spectrum. Okay. And then expand it just a little bit more because I feel like there's other elements and other natures that we can touch upon that would be a really cool. Like, I want to see like at least a, a earth bending uh, avatar, you know, so it, other than Kiyoshi, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Or a fire bending avatar. That would be really cool, honestly. I mean, we did, we did get a glimpse of uh, Avatar Roku. That's true. That's true. Yeah. I mean, we didn't get his whole backstory, but you know. Yeah, we pretty much did. We got his whole backstory. <laughs> oh, did yeah. we? Yeah. Yeah. Le- I, think we got Le- most of I think Legend of Korra, they really dive. I think it was Legend of Korra. Uh, yeah. And well, I think so they also- I didn't I didn't really mess with Legend of Korra like that. You know, watch yeah. a few, you know, quite a few episodes. I didn't watch like yeah. you know, from start to finish. Yeah, one of them they go deep. I was like, oh, mm-hmm. okay. And I think they did a few shindins on um like they covered like um, the Shinden of Roku, Kiyoshi, and um, there was the other guy, the the waterbender before all of them, um, the one that lost his wife to um, Ko. Hmm. I don't know they about co- him. They covered yeah. they covered him a little bit. Um, nah, this dude was a complete flop, like, <laughs> a whole flop. Like if y'all hate LeBron, <laughs> flop. <laughs> Oh man, garbage. <laughs> but um, so um, my second question, I guess you could still kind of tie it into the original topic, hmm. which was um, what is the best superpower and why? What's what's your reason behind hmm. it? The That's best cool. superpower. This is this is your only free throw right here. <laughs> best superpower. I gotta think on that. Yeah, that's that's a. We're talking comics so, too. Yeah, comics so I'm gonna say you gotta anime. clarify like comics and about? anime, both. Uh, okay. Uh, both of them. Um, I know. So I think I might have to go with one that I was originally like picked up on that time I was reincarnated into a slime. Uh, I think pretty <laughs> that uh, there's one it's called the, the predator skill mm. where the main character Rimuru basically can like absorb you and like take on like the properties of like oh, wow. take on your property so he can use like a lot of like any like special ability that you can use he can use like Kirby. Um, Basically. <laughs> okay, okay. He actually looks like the goat. Yeah, I mean, the goat. Yeah, the goat. <laughs> he, he's a glob, kind of like Kirby. <laughs> oh, Yo, I bet you they had Kirby in mind when creating this character. <laughs> oh, <man>. probably. <laughs> You're saying Kirby's the goat. I mean, why wouldn't you want to create a character based off of him? <laughs> <laughs> I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. But as, as for my reasoning behind that, I feel like, like, Pretty much just, you know, need to absorb somebody kind of like boo and you have all the powers, honestly. Uh, it's like, 
like, oh, you know, you can use this. I'm just go absorb somebody, absorb this dude over here, counter you, and then once I beat you, take your power and it's mine. You right. Know what I mean? So, for me, if if it's a power that I want in like real life, I think I would want to read minds. Maybe. Hey. Yeah. That's lit. That's actually really lit. I think. Give me that, and I'm all set. You know what I'm saying? That actually would be a, that that would be a lit power. Uh, you out here on a date with your girl, like, where do you want to go eat? She don't know you reading her mind. <laughs> you was thinking about pizza, wasn't you? Dang, how'd you know? You was about to say, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm all set. You know what I'm saying? If I need money, I hop into a little poker tournament. Bam, can read minds. We good. We out. <laughs> okay. Yo, so, like, so, that being said, you don't have any morals when it comes to using your power in hey, the real didn't, world. I didn't say give me super speed and I'll rob a bank. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's basically the same thing, though. I just want to gamble a little. <laughs> yeah, but you cheat in the system, bro. I have an advantage in the system. <laughs> <laughs> Our system. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. What kind of power I, would you want in real life, Carl? I, I would have to pig you off of what you said with the whole Kirby thing. Um. I think that, like, just being able to take anybody's power is the best superpower because, like, you pretty much have everybody's superpower. You, mm -hmm. you, like, uh, for example, like, like Ditto. You, remember, you know that Pokemon Ditto? Mm -hmm. Ditto. Like, I always thought Ditto was, like, the most OP Pokemon because I was, like, I, I was I was always wondering why people wasn't, like, trying to catch Ditto. Like, they was going for the legendary Pokemon, uh... but they weren't going for Ditto. Ditto could literally turn into any Pokemon it wants to. It's like right, that's right. literally the arsenal right there. You know what I'm saying? So I always thought like just, just having the arsenal is like you know, you you got it. You 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 already got it. Like you know why pull up to the why pull up to the mall when you are the mall? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Well, let me ask y'all a question. What which character? I'm a, I'm gonna specify it to anime. Um, right. which character in anime do you think has the best power? Ooh. Or or your favorite it doesn't have to necessarily be the best. Go ahead, Carl. I know you want to. <laughs> Honestly, I, I, I'm with I'm with any anime that has like a god tier character because mm. it's like I guess you would say that that's like the final level, and they kind of like like all right, let's take Jewel Botch from Bleach. This dude is literally creating his own Quincy's like he was making his own Quincy's and giving them powers based on what he names them. You know what I'm saying? Like God's here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then you got, you got Madara trying to get to God's tier level and he's able to control every jutsu known to man, not only because he has the shotting gun, but also because he now also controls wood element. You know what I'm saying? So or not even just him, Kaguya, God tier. Like any character that was like that's like God tier level mm. and can hold, can like literally just just I guess you would say any anime character that has the, the power of creation, pretty much. Okay. That's the best way I can sum it up. Interesting. Go ahead, Eric. <laughs> We've had time to think. <laughs> <laughs> not enough. No. Um I don't know. I feel like uh, I'd probably have to go with uh, All for One from um, My Hero Academia. Like, basically, that's yeah. another power that, you know, basically, like, you can, you know, take whatever, like, you know, quirk or power you want, you want, and it's yours. You know what I mean? Right. And it's kind of like, you know, it kind of like a god tier type you know type thing to it because like he can you know take take away and he can like bestow so oh, it's wow. like yeah that's dope um i think i like you know out of all the powers that i've seen i think that one might be one of my you know, like overall favorites word mm. good answer yeah 
What about you, Mike? Man, y'all just named two villains, but um, <laughs> <laughs> villains doing uh, better, bro. Uh, Come on, now. Man, that's uh, kind of true. <laughs> <laughs> um, best power. Um, I don't know about best, but one of my favorites, going back to Nen and um Hunter Hunter, uh-huh. has to be Karabka. Remember that scene, Eric? I know you remember it. <laughs> what was it? Karavka, um, homie with the chains. Oh, you mean Korapika? Korapika, sure. Korapika. <laughs> Karavka, bro. Uh, Kor- uh, yeah. Tomato, tomato, bro. Korapika. <laughs> Korapika. <laughs> Man, that don't sound Japanese at all. But, uh, yeah. Bro. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> For me, that scene when he, you know, reveals his power, his true power, I was just like so hype in the moment. I was like, "Oh my mm. god! Oh my god, bro! What? <laughs> Yo, stop playing!" Um, oh, he's OP as hell. I'm about to check that out. He basically, yeah, Hunter Hunter is a must watch. Must watch. If you, if you, especially if you like Shonen, you like Naruto, Bleach, Hunter Hunter is, you know, gotta watch it. I was actually about to get into it earlier this week. Um, uh, I started watching on Tubi and I fell asleep like halfway through it. Damn. I mean, it takes a few episodes to yeah. get yeah. good, but yeah. But basically, homie, he basically set a condition on himself that made him stronger when he faced certain a certain group of people mm. and let him use his abilities to like its max potential, but only when he faces this group of people. And if he used that same ability on someone else, he would die. Mm. So by raising the stakes that high, it made him stronger. And I don't know, he just goes ham on these dudes. And I was like, damn. Yep, that's it. That's for me. Hunter Hunter. <laughs> that was the best thing I've seen all this whole anime. <laughs> definitely. Uh, his uh his scarlet eyes definitely gave me some uh shotting gun vibes mm-hmm. when I first saw it. I was like, oh, okay. Really? Oh, that's some yeah. gangster. And like this character like the whole show you're not even like really thinking about him as like a strong character he's kind of you know a a tertiary he's not even secondary he's tertiary and kind of you know forgotten a little bit and then this anime arc comes up and you see him go ham and you're like oh snap (laughs) Uh, that's lit Hmm. but yeah so Karabka definitely is one of my favorite powers and you know i was t- trying to think of like other characters like um lelouch with his gears you mm. know what i'm saying controlling people real quick i'm not sure i would use it the way he used it <laughs> <laughs> um, all kind of vibes right there bro all kind of vibes <laughs> oh, man. but uh <laughs> That's not what I meant, but uh, <laughs> 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 oh man! But I think I think the Gias concept in general is dope. Um, I don't even remember the rest of them, but I remember Lelouch. You know what I'm saying? Lelouch. He definitely had one of the best powers in general. I think across anime. Word. Um. I'm surprised, Carl, you didn't name anybody from Bleach. Except just now, you said um the villain, the homie. Quincy uh, Jewelbach? Yeah, yeah Jewelbach. Yeah. But I was thinking, like, Orihime's healing ability is OP. Yeah, yeah, no, her, her healing ability is kind of OP. So that thing, was her, her, was her actual power healing, or was it reversing time? Orihime? Yeah. I think it was reversing time. I th- I think it's I think she could do both because um mm-hmm. there was a point where um they so during the wizard arc when they um when Ichigo gets the mask yeah um when he's training with the wizards in the little dome area ish yeah. um homie the the big the big the big guy the husky dude. Um, he compares her healing abilities to his. He's like, "Oh, how did you get that? Like, your your healing abilities are similar to mine. Like, 
because like he has like so he was like the second command of the healing corpse i forgot who was before him forgot who was before him someone was before him but he had like some like high tier healing abilities um because like her powers was like a I think it's like a three or four part. It's like is healing. I know healing was one of it, and and then she had like a special shield that was like yeah. impen- it was like impenetrable. Was it? Uh, it looked pretty weak to you, me. <laughs> you, I guess it's dependent on like your like your ra- your um your reishi power. True, 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 true. Yeah. Like if you're if she had enough reishi to protect her um, against her opponent she can with withhold you know the attack but if you know like say she like for example like the fight with Grimjo obviously Grimjo's stronger than her so you know whatever blast coming from him is gonna break too through much that. uh spiritual pressure yeah there we go that's, that's actually you put it the best way actually it's the spiritual pressure joint but yeah no 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 definitely yeah no she she was dope she was dope um her and um what's his name I forgot his name uh the black dude Chad? He was, he was, there we go, Chad. Nah, he was Mexican. Stop it. When he got his second arm, the second stop arm was dope. It. The second arm was kind of dope. Man, Chad Man, was like, like the get most. Get out of here with that trash. <laughs> <laughs> I was <laughs> mad the whole anime because Chad was such a trash character. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, I man. think I think they get I think they gave him a Rock Lee moment. Like you know how like at first you're like oh snap Rock Lee might be it, and then they do him dirty the rest of the anime. <laughs> it was like that. It was like that. It's like the Yamcha. You see him pull the Wolf Fang fist. Oh, and the rest of the anime. Oh, oh man, Yamcha, <laughs> poor Yamcha. Oh man, but nah, I was kind of highly upset. Like. Ichigo, Ichigo's crew was like useless for like that first entire arc. They were useless. Um, Ishida gets way better. Yeah. And I think he's definitely the best fighter that's not a Soul Reaper. But Chad, I'm like, yo, Chad, can we get this dude some strength? Can we do something with this dude? <laughs> like, this boy needs some purpose. Come on now. Uh, like, it. now that you actually mentioned Ishida. I would bring him up too in the uh yeah because like his his um his uh uh it's not I forgot what he what they called it but so technically Jewelbach gave them letters and he was the letter A. I forgot what it stood for, but technically he was like he was like the the replication of Jewelbach. You feel me? It was him, and then there was another guy. Who was like Juhabach's eyes or something, and he was able to see into the future. So he would he knew that Ishida was gonna betray the the Quincy Revolution and all that type of stuff. But Ishida was strong enough because of his letter to kind of counteract that. But Juhabach created him, so it's like he already knew all this stuff was gonna happen. I am a really big fan of the whole bow and arrow thing. I I, I don't know why, but. <laughs> You know, archery class, bro. Yo, Hawkeye, Arrow, bro. I, I'm a huge fan of it. <laughs> I feel you. Like, you know, perfect aims. Like, I'm like, okay. <laughs> I feel you. Um, yeah, I'm, rapid, I'm, rapid, I'm, rapid release. I, I, feel you. <laughs> I was like, I was heavy into like archery too when I was a kid. Like, I played this one game called Maple Story, and my character, or one of my mm. best characters, was Archer. He's like level 60, level 70 or something like that. Nah, bro. It's level 100 and nothing else. Man. <laughs> I ended up losing the account, man. I was hacking too much. Oh, man. <laughs> Cheating. <laughs> you got to sometimes, bro. You got, you got to. You, you see me chilling on the side of the map, shooting at air, but it's hitting every monster on the map. Oh, man. Like, bro, what you even aiming at, bro? Come on now. <laughs> I made a lot of friends off of it though. People are like, yo, you hacking? For sure. No, oh, bro. I add me, bro. About. Show me what engine you're using. <clears throat> what was the worst superhero power and why? Ooh. Mm. Damn. I know there's some garbage ones out there, man. Ah. There are some highly garbage ones out there. 
I just can't um, think right now. Hold on. Yeah, I mean, if you're trying to like go through, like, all I mean, all the ones that I've seen are pretty much like mid mid tier to like god tier, depending on like the user's like experience with said power. Uh -huh. Um, but I know from like you know certain videos that I've watched in the past. There are some like highly garbage ones. <laughs> um, I I know for sure there's some X Men with the garbage powers yeah. or like you know powers they don't want. You know what I'm saying? I gotta think about a guy like the Thing from Fantastic Four. It's like okay, you got super strength, but you're a pile of rock. Yeah, it's not really <laughs> helpful. <Basically. laughs> like that's not really helpful. You ain't scaring nobody, bro. <laughs> um. I mean, you can't even go back to being a human. It's like, damn. True, true. It sucks. <laughs> and you're I not mean, even so invincible. Is, yeah. <laughs> Basically. I mean, you got, like, super strength and, like, durability, but that's about it. Unless you're up against somebody like the Hulk, then that's, like, that's kind of meaningless. Is he um, strong enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Hulk? I know um, they fought, like, a couple of times yeah. in the comic books. And I think he just get, gets rocked every time. <laughs> Pun intended. Pun intended. Bars. Um, <laughs> oh. um, but yeah, I don't. Yeah, no, I don't. Honestly, I don't think he's any. He's not a match for a, a Hulk. I feel that. I'm trying to think of like the worst quirks in uh, my hero Academia, but somehow, um, some way, they make them useful. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Homegirl with the gravity. I was like, that is garbage. And then we see her <laughs> fight, and I'm like, how is she? How is she fighting right now? <laughs> it's all about experience, bro. Come on now. She did that thing where she. Um, there's some like. At first, I thought um Manetta's pop off was gonna trash. Yes, yes. The girl that does the this thing and then the th everything falls or something like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was actually just thinking that. <laughs> yeah. Nah. I I, damn, everybody thinking. hating on uh Uraraka. No, you're right. Minata the girl. has the worst now. power for sure. Um. But yeah, at first I thought Manetta's power is like kind of trash. I still think they're like, trash. <laughs> I mean, like. <laughs> I'm like, it's not as great as the other ones, but where they are right now in the uh, in the anime, yeah, like in the the class battles, I think I mean he used it pretty well, and then at the same time, and the, uh, when the when the villains infiltrated uh, USJ, mm -hmm. I thought you know he he made made some use out of it. I mean it's not it's not the greatest. I mean, I wouldn't want it. I'd, I'd probably be like low on my list. Um, How the hell did he even get into hero school? <laughs> bro, I don't even know. I don't know. He damn sure didn't get on. He didn't do no recommendation. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Yo, what about um, that? What about that frog dude? No, oh, the fro froppy? The f no, froppy's nice. Don't sleep. Yeah. Oh, he's nice? Nah. It's oh, a it's a joke. Yeah. Oh, she's nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I just I just watched an episode today. I'm mean, like, she, she held her own for sure. Yeah. Wow. I'm surprised because like and she just uh and she just learned to uh turn like you know like camouflage power so she can basically oh. turn invisible. Damn. Oh, damn. Yeah. Okay. Damn, yo, they should have did that with um Toad from X Men. <laughs> they all had them extra garbage. Yeah, yeah and that movie, garbage. that movie especially was garbage. <laughs> Hot garbage. Hot garbage. Uh -oh. I mean, yeah, so that, that might be one of that might be like one of my number one worst powers ever. Toad. Toad's powers. <laughs> yeah. He's straight ass. Um yo, y'all remember that old uh movie on Disney Channel, High School High? It was like Superhero High. That's what it was called. My bad. It's called yeah. Superhero High. Yeah. And then they had like that segment when they were in. The oh, you mean uh, Sky High? Sky High. There we go. Yeah. Um, they had a segment where um they were in the gym, and they were testing out their powers, seeing who's yeah. hero, who's sidekick. Yeah. 
Mm. And then one of the dudes, he turned into like a like like a puddle. Puddle. It was like just some, some puddle of water or whatever. And I was like, yo, the whole entire time I was thinking to myself, yo, that's the worst superpower ever. It's, it's <laughs> about the, you in a heated fight, like freaking freaking Thanos comes down hmm. or a dark side, and all you could do is turn into a puddle of water. Hmm. <laughs> he was like, what's your name? What's your power? He was like, oh, I melt. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> yo. <laughs> then there was the other dude, uh, he glows. So basically, your freaking glow stick is what you're telling me. That's it. <laughs> At least that's a yeah, little glows. useful. <laughs> In the dark. <laughs> that, ch- that chick with the tree power, they didn't display her powers that well because she had the most OP power in the show. Yeah. That whole, uh, what is it? What is it like? Plant kinesis or something like that? I, I don't know the proper yeah. terminology, but. Yeah, I mean. Probably plant kinesis or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, she yeah, that's probably one of the most powerful characters in the movie. Um, but she's a pacifist, so it's like mm. Mm, oh yeah, yo, you know, that's that 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 makes sense now when you think about it, because like you know, vegans, ve- yo, vegans be be kind of pacifist, bro. No cap, like you know them, them plant-based diets to get into their heads, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing against vegans. <laughs> Full disclaimer. Nothing against them. I'm just saying. <laughs> yes, I think that those those are definitely some of like the worst powers I can think of off the top of my head. For sure. Some of the uh, worst anime characters or powers, I guess. I would say Ten Ten. Off the bat. Garbosa. I mean, uh, her power is cool. The power of summoning is cool. Yeah, but it's just the way they they, they like. Okay, they like show it from her end. Like, mm-hmm. you know, she like. I don't know. They made her look mad weak. I'm sorry. She um, was hella weak. I was just trying to think of Naruto characters too, but nah. Yeah. <laughs> and then like, uh, yo, you know what's crazy though? Um, when you think about like just how they how the writer depicts powers. Hmm. You got or you got um uh what's her name? Rangeku from Bleach, the uh chick with the orange hair. She's yeah. um huge cities. <laughs> she's uh Hitsugaya's yes, basically. Yeah, Hitsugaya's lieutenant. Oh yeah. Her sword yeah. turned into sand. So let's just say she has the power of sand. And then you got Gara. Yeah. It's like two different depictions of her controlling sand powers they made her look garbage <laughs> like I-, I could only imagine what her bunk high looks like uh, probably like you probably just see a whole dumpster come through like trash truck <laughs> <laughs> while we're talking oh, about shit. bleach <laughs> um i would have to say hitsugaya might have the worst bunk high yeah yeah, I, I just feel like it's hella yeah. weak. Like, yeah, he, need, he needs to pull it out just to fight like average criminals. It's like, bro, what are you doing? That's, that's <laughs> You're true. a captain. <laughs> that's, yeah, and I think it has like a time limit on it or something. Some some weird stuff. Hmm. So in in the Thousand Year Blood War, they break down the whole time limit thing. Yeah. So the so it, technically his power is suppressed. Okay. Um, when the petals all melt from behind him, um, that's when he actually taps into his full power. And so you see how he looks like a kid? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's, he's actually a grown man. Like he got like a, he's taller. And like he goes into, so technically um, he's able to freeze like his opponent like instantly off. Mm-hmm. Like it's, <sighs> It's hard to describe it, but he's more OP than they they show him out to be in like most of the anime slash manga. But in the Thousand Year Blood War, they made him OP in a mug, bro. Like, like okay, so, um, yeah, kind of yeah, they... like uh, kind of like uh, as death from uh, Akame Ga Kill. Uh, if y'all seen that? No, I haven't, I haven't seen it. I haven't. I was thinking Todoroki yeah. from um, my hero. Mm. Mm. The way he like he shows up and he just freezes the whole area. Like I, I ain't playing around. 
yeah, yeah. like that that's actually that's actually a really good example that's uh yeah freeze the whole area yeah. okay i mean the reason why i said uh as if from i can make a kill because she can pretty much freeze anything um yeah. she can like in the like final episode she's even able to like freeze time basically oh wow that's crazy yeah. wow so i'm thinking about like o- op like op ice powers she can freeze time so it's like op as hell yeah that is hell um, yeah so that's definitely something i would recommend checking out for i sure. got kill yeah. for sure for sure for sure you can just go on google and type in uh as def for sure the picture um all right so my fourth question mm-hmm. is um if you had a superpower would you keep it a secret or would you want people to know about it mm. Now this comes from Invincible, homeboy. <laughs> God damn, Amber. <laughs> oh, uh, nah, I'm definitely um, <laughs> I'm definitely keeping it a secret, cause you know, I mean, unless you're like someone I trust, like you, you know, life or death situation, like ride or die, I know I can count on you. Like through thick and thin, right. keeping us a secret. Right, 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 right. I feel. I don't want people coming up to me like, "Oh, can you? nah, bro, I don't know you like that." <laughs> <laughs> That's facts. Uh, like, what good comes out of telling anybody? That's exactly. true. You know what I'm saying? Not That's really. True. Um, I've been binging a whole bunch of Smallville recently, mm. and I'm watching Homeboy keep his secret from everybody. And every right. time he thinks he could tell somebody, they do something that makes him feel like, nah, I can't tell him because I just saw how she reacted to that situation. Treating this dude like a freak. I'm going to get treated like a freak too if I tell her, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah, yeah I don't I feel, know. I feel like um, I, I, would, I would keep it a secret as well because like uh, I feel like if, if if like you tell somebody, especially nowadays, man, you really can't tell nobody secrets. That you tell them a secret before you know it's on Fox Twenty Five. Basically, how y'all find out? <laughs> <laughs> so Carl got speak? got spider powers. He's, he's <laughs> slinging web. Wait, how y'all know that? Uh, man. You can't trust people nowadays, bro. But tell somebody it's all like on social media, like like right after you tell them, like, bro. I just told you this two <laughs> they, seconds ago. They throwing like, the subliminals. going on? They throwing the subliminals too. That, I wasn't Man. talking about you. I was talking about oh, in general. Mm. Come on, bro. <laughs> I'm the only one with spider powers. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah. Also to just like keep family members safe because you never know. You might have an arch nemesis, How and then you... they'd be like, "I bet Carl Spider Man. I got something for him. I got something for him." Yeah. That's just like the age old, you know, superhero trope. Like, you That's don't true. tell people that you're the hero because it's just gonna, it's just gonna blow up in your face. True, like, true. it never ends well. That's true. Like, I mean, we've learned so much from Spider Man. Come on, like, Thanks. let's be real. That's true. There were, there's a couple of like um, short scenes. Like, I was watching where. Like they reveal the Bat family's true identity. Mm-hmm. Like um, there was one like small clip I was watching where um, they unmask Joker and Scarecrow unmask Batman. And they're like, Batman is Bruce Wayne? And the first thing Joker does is asks him, yo, where's his like million dollar car or something like that? I was like, damn. <laughs> like, yo, just imagine like after today, he's still going to be hitting you up about his car. I think but, uh, I, I think you're yeah. talking about um the scene from Harley Quinn the TV series. I, I think that's what it was from. Yeah, no, nah, that's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> you and chilling? Then, you you trying to sleep? <laughs> homie's calling you at three in the morning. Yo, you in my Lambo? <laughs> he also said something about like, oh, I invested into Wayne Tech. What? Where's y'all electric cars or something? <laughs> He's like, why hasn't your stock price gone up? <laughs> uh, uh, man. This is, uh, I think my next question is tied into that one. 
Um, would you want to be a superhero, a villain, or an anti-hero? I don't know that anti-hero life. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm anti-hero all the way, bro. After watching like, the book, after watching the boys and uh, Invincible, yeah, I, I gotta agree with you on that one. <laughs> anti-hero all the way. It's like, yeah, I'll do you know some good stuff here and there, but I don't know, I'll also do some messed up stuff along the way. You know, if I just wake up like, you know what, I feel like stealing some shit. I'm gonna do Fox. it. Fox. It's real like, yo, you know what? I'm kind of low on money. I need a quick little ten G. Hold up, I kind of need that. I kind of need that college that that college tuition real quickly. Pull up to the uh, bank with the super speed. They won't even know. No man. Go ahead and pull a uh, cat woman or black cat. Oh, I'm just gonna save that for you know a rainy day. <laughs> Put under your mattress. <laughs> Stuff all my money in there. Would you? Yeah. Would you do yeah, anything so yeah. extreme like a like a Lelouch or a Light Yagami and be like, I right, I got this power. I gotta you know get rid of all the criminals in the world. Or oh yeah, for sure. I need to. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Like, nah, bro. You just chilling. <laughs> I'm I'm straight chilling. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to get into all that. That's that's too much. You know, I'm like I said. I'm not. I'm not about that hero life. I ain't trying to save nobody. I'm not J Cole, bro. Um. <laughs> oh, that? No, I feel you on that. I feel you on that. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm doing what I need to do, and I'm keeping my head down. You know, I'll do a few heroic things here and there, but I ain't taking on nothing super huge like that. You can keep you. that to yourself. I'm all good. I feel like you're <laughs> describing, like, Hancock. If y'all seen that movie. I did. Oh. I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um. In uh Titan that uh that show Titans, there were uh when when Superboy comes out the lab, the his mom is telling him not to. There are certain times you don't want to be a hero, and yeah. homies like walking by, people getting robbed and mugged and stuff. I'm like, damn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but you gotta think that's like that's like some small time stuff though, like. Mike's over here talking about trying to save the world and you know, like get rid of oh. like nah bro I'm I'm not doing all that tackle oh, climate like, change and, yeah like, dep- nah I'm good it it depends what the power is I feel like it depends for, like what the power is like if mm. I if I got like some Superman type powers like super speed invincibility like I'm the strongest man on the earth I probably do it just for the heck of it bro pull up you see me pull up to Afghanistan flying and stuff laser beam and stuff. Yo, I heard we got beef with y'all. <laughs> so you talking me sound you sounding like Homelander over here, bro. H- high key, bro. <laughs> high key. Just pulling up. Arms crossed and everything. Start milling people's heads and sh- high key, bro. See the military still arrest me? I was helping y'all. <laughs> uh... Move on to the next question. Oh, um, so what superpower would you want and how would you want to receive your powers? Like, what would be like your superpower origins? Like, you know, we get, yeah, like we get like Spider-Man getting his powers from a radioactive spider and stuff like that. What would you want your origins to be? (laughs) That's not a bad way. Um, Get bit by an animal. (laughs) Um, that beats dare- Daredevil getting spilled with chemicals, mm. uh, struck by lightning. <laughs> I don't know. Is there a good way to get powers? <laughs> um, I mean, if we, if we go like, if we go like the quirk, quirk route, mm. basically just like a virus, mm. you got your superpower. Harmless, I mean, how much you got? Unless you get one of those like you know, you know mutations that like turns you into like a 
turns you into like the thing. Like, mm-hmm. bro, what am what am I gonna do with this? Like, come on now. <laughs> like, no, thank you. I, I just go to all, all for one. I'm like, yo, take this shit from me. I don't want this. Like, come on. I guess the most harmless way you can get your powers is when you think of how they gave Slade his powers in Titans. Um, they injected him with the serum. And then his kids got the power just like hereditarily. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I, that was harmless for them. You know, so born it was, with it, born with yeah. it. genetic mutation. Yeah, kind of yeah. like Quirk. Quirk. Yeah. yeah. X X Men. Yeah. Yeah. I like the way X Men put it. They they um. Well, no, no, not X Men. Um, I like the way um. I think it was in Young Justice. The way they broke it down with Vandal Savage, they said they like said that he bathed like there was like a comet that fell out the sky and then he bathed in the comet's radiation because like it was warm and it was it was cold out and he bathed in the warmthness of the comet and he got his powers from the radiation and then from him came a speed it came like a like you know how like they explain like evolution like the the the, the theory of evolution it was like he became like the new branch of evolution. Right. Like there's man, there's Homo sapiens, and then there was like a new species. Like you know, I guess that's a that's the other harmless way I can think of getting superpowers. Because yeah, anything that comes out from him is gonna be superpowered. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'd, I'd rather be like born with mine. So. Some kind of mutant gene or something like that. Right. Yeah. Whatever is less painful. You know what I mean? Right. Because <laughs> I ain't trying to be bitten by no spider, no animal, and struck by lightning, experimented on. I'm good. I'm good. I'll say. I say. Um, I think for me personally, I don't mind the whole meta gene thing. Mm-hmm. Like, um, you know, see if I'm compatible for the meta gene. You know, put the meta gene in me, and then you know, see and try to like wake up my powers. I mean, don't get I don't want to be like bathing no tar or nothing, but <laughs> taking my armor power. Like I'm tar man. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> see me pull out my powers, moving rocks and stuff like like Tara. <laughs> Like, what's your name? What's your power? I'm Tar, man. I control Tar. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you see, yo, you see, yo, you see, you see the U.S. and the Middle East fighting over me. Yo, we need that, bro. All right, we'll move on to my next question. What would be the first thing you do once you get your powers? This kind of stems back to what you were saying earlier, Mike, about uh. If you would be like a super, like, like, if you'd be like a major hero saving lives and stuff. Right, right, right. The um, first thing you do. That's interesting. Um, I guess it depends on the power. Definitely depends on the power. Um, I kind of like the whole Shazam thing where it's like, okay, I'm an adult now. Let me go buy alcohol. Uh, <laughs> um, I kind of like Spider Man thinking back to like Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man and he's like okay let me go like try to like web sling across rooftops I'm like okay <laughs> um so it depends on the power um I guess it's definitely gotta test what I can do mm. figure out you know what's my limits I think right. that's I think that's step one figure out what's your limits <laughs> yeah like, I mean, I have to say the same thing. I'm not I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, I got some powers. I'm not gonna try to go stop a bank robbery and get shot. But, like, oh, I fucked up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, nah, I'm not, I'm not trying to do all that. <laughs> right. I'm like, mm, okay, well, I got this power. I should probably, you know, test out what I can do before I try to like overestimate myself, get myself killed, probably make the situation even worse. You know, I feel it. <laughs> Yeah, no, I agree. I agree with the two of you guys. Um, it would depend what 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 the power is for me. Like, your boy gets super speed. I'm racing everybody. 
I'm about to relive my childhood days. <laughs> Man. Yo, we racing. Bro, I got to go to work. Nah, 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 nah. You're going to have to be late, bro. That, that's not like a you problem, but we racing. Okay, Shikari. <laughs> you see? <laughs> I just came up with like a, like a, this is my last question, actually, on my, on my list. Bro. bro, I thought you said you didn't have that many questions. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's not much. It's not much. It was like literally like seven, seven, eight questions. <laughs> Uh, um, but this is but this is my last question right here. Um, yeah, I came up with like some random. Um, so I said, if there was an alien invasion, how would you use your powers? If you would save the day, give a scenario, or uh, uh, of how you would do it. If not, if you wouldn't save the day, <laughs> also give a scenario of what you would do. <laughs> there was an alien invasion, like something apocalyptic happens like oh, dark side pull ups oh, man. pull up with his parademons like yo what y'all about to do now no. give up man <laughs> well for me I'm gonna pull up first thing I'm gonna do is um use my power of talk no jutsu <laughs> <laughs> yo my guy yo 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 you don't even want to do earth earth is too ghetto bro <laughs> We don't got nothing of value, uh, bro. Come on, now. We like we like the hood of the galaxy, yo. Oh, man. Um, um, if there's if that don't work, I think the next step is to become Batman and um, assemble <laughs> assemble a league. <laughs> <Word>. <laughs> Uh, uh, recruit some League of Five people. <laughs> be no, we about to put in this work. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Who are you exactly, <laughs> bro? You're five nine. You talking about we about to fight some aliens? <laughs> I got a pitchfork. You throw bad shit, <laughs> knives. Like really? You're like you're really trying to do this? Oh man. <laughs> uh. But yeah, I feel that. What about you, Eric? What's uh, what you? What you um, what you I feel like it depends on what kind of power I have. Like, if I got some shit ass power, I'm just like, all right, take me away. Like, there's not much I can do, you know. Um, oh, man. but I mean, if I got some like badass power where I can, you know, take out a few heads before I, you know, go down, I'm gonna go down swinging. <laughs> I'm be real with y'all. I would be, I would be hella fake. I'd be like, at first, I'd be trying to save the day, but if I realize I can't really save the day, I turn side. Like, yo, you nah, yo, yeah, we got y'all now. We about to enslave the human race. Wait, aren't you on our side? No, nah, 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 not today. Nah, not today. I'm not I even one of y'all. Your side, bro. Come on now. Hit him with the, uh, I'm not even one of y'all. I got powers. <laughs> like, yo, wasn't you just ostracizing me, bro? Nah, nah. <laughs> uh, man said he's going to join the Viltrumites. <laughs> he's like, yo, you can, yo, mean, you can save the day, Mark. I bet say no more. I mean, Carl was over here, like, trying to sympathize with their cause. So, I mean, <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean... It, uh, it's reasonable. <laughs> oh, man. But, uh, yeah, nah, you guys got any, like, closing remarks? Like, if you want, guys are all set. Like, you know, I want to wrap up. If you got anything else to say? I mean, trying to figure out, like, the, you know, the best power, it's, it's hard. Because there's, there's, there's a lot of power systems to go through. Um, I don't know. I just I feel like you just got to find your favorite, like, you know, try to look at it like right what's you know which one's gonna be benefit to you the most mm-hmm. right for sure um yeah um for my closing thoughts um one anime i wanted to bring up that we didn't bring up was um hitman reborn have y'all seen oh. it i think i watched uh, like i think one i heard episode. about it yeah it's, it's another showing they, their power system is cool like first of all this dude is like um a mob Stir, <laughs> and there's like What's a talking. 
there's like a talking baby that kind of like tells them like, yo, bro, you're like the next in line to be the head of the family. And this dude is like kind of like Deku where he's like not, you know, like an alpha male. You know what I mean? Mm. And he's like, nah, I want no part of that. But anyway, <laughs> but as the show progresses, his power is really cool. Like, like he, he, you know, he can give them hands. He can give people them hands. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Word. Um, and I think their power stems from like a ring, like the family ring from whatever crime, whatever mob they're from. Mm, uh, that sounds familiar. But yeah, we talk about a ring now. That sounds really familiar. Yeah, I mean, it's it was like Green Lantern over here, bro. <laughs> a little bit, a little <laughs> bit, a little bit. But um, he's a the main character is a flame wielder. So you know, mm. back to fire. Fire is always a cool. It's always it's a cool an power. Anyway. Oh, okay. I think I heard about this anime before. Yeah, it's, uh, right. it's like they have like elements, right, with the rings, right? Yeah, yeah. It's definitely worth a watch if you've never seen it. Um, yeah, I, like I said, I watched like one episode of it. Actually, I don't even think I finished the whole episode. Honestly, actually, maybe like watch a few minutes of it. It takes to like twenty episodes before it gets good. That's the downside. The hell, Damn. twenty episodes, uh, no lie, because like the first twenty episodes are like character introductions, and it's like. Uh, uh, Damn. And like the fighting doesn't really start till past that point. So, yeah. Like yeah. I said, the main character is a wimp. And he doesn't like want to fight. So like. So he's soft. He's he soft. is. He's hella soft. So those first twenty <laughs> episodes are like trying to convince this dude, like, "Yo, you're the head of the family, bro. This is your, <laughs> this is your, you know, destiny. Like you're supposed your to destiny. <laughs> take hold of it, bro. Come on now. Your destiny was to throw hands. What are you doing? Yeah. But uh, worth a watch if you get past that point. But um, yeah, yeah. that's all I got. Word. Um, for me, honestly, man, my 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 closing remarks, I guess, would really be, man, yo, if I get superpowers right now, you know, give them to me. I need that. I need that right now. <laughs> nah, you but go fight the pandemic, <laughs> man. The CDC hasn't even like been able to get rid of rid of all that man what, what can i do about it you see me pull up with super strength don't worry i'll fight it pull up with super speed don't worry we're gonna we're gonna run faster than this thing Nah, but um yeah no nah, i mean coolest anime powers mega powers i mean i gave my top list you know uh uh I mean, I, all those like stem from, you know, something or some experience in, in life that was like, like inspired it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess that's my closing remarks. That, ladies and gentlemen, is our show. All of us here at Ninja Talk would like to thank you for tuning in to tonight's episode. If you enjoyed the show, make sure to follow us on Twitter at Ninja Talk 3. Follow our Facebook and Instagram pages at Ninja Talk, the podcast. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel of the same name where we'll be posting even more content. Podcast episodes drop every Tuesday on Anchor and Spotify. So make sure you're subscribed to, to get upload notifications. Once again, my name is Carl and this has been Ninja Talk. <laughs>